Hi guys, I forgot to film, but I'm filming it right now. I am making pork and red sauce, so I chopped up some pork. And in there is onions, garlic, and pork. Just chopped up pork round, um, pork butt. And then I added some tomato paste, and I'm cooking that down right now. And then I'm going to add in a can of whole peeled tomatoes and a can of tomato sauce. And this is half of one of those big ginormous cans or you can add one can of the uh, red enchilada sauce and that's all I add cumin um, I add cumin garlic powder garlic salt sorry that's my phone um, what else do I add pepper cayenne pepper bay leaves and paprika and I said cumin and that's what I add, and then I just add a cup, uh, one can of these, uh, sorry, one small can of water, because I put water in it to get all the good juices out of it. I rinse them out, and then um, I let it reduce for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, until the meat's done, and it's cooked, so I'll show you that in the end when I'm done with it, and then I'll show you how I serve it. So that's pork and rod sauce, super easy, and it's one of my okay, recipes. Guys, so this is the um, half a bag, or half a can, ginormous can, uh, or you can use one eight. 14 ounce can of the enchilada sauce. I freeze it. I always buy the big cans so I would get two servings out of it or two, you know, um, two pork and red sauces out of it and then I just freeze it, obviously saw it in the Ziploc bag. Ow, hot. That kind of bubbled up on me. But it's bubbling away. I added my water. One thing I forgot to add, tell you guys is that I add a chicken bouillon cube or a vegetable bouillon cube or a beef bouillon cube, whatever I have on hand to add to the stock for the flavor. Just wanted to tell you guys that. So I'll let you know. I'll show you what, how I serve it up in the end. So simmer for about an hour. Hi guys. I forgot to tell you that I leave it uncovered so that way um, it bubbles away and it reduces down to a thick um, sauce. So I'm 35 minutes into it. 40 minutes. No, about 35 minutes. Halfway into it. It's bubbling away. This is what you want. And you want to keep let it going until it's nice and tender. And then, like I said, sorry for the interruption, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like coming along. Um, one of the things that I forgot to tell you is that I add a packet of the Sasson Goya. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. Let me grab it. This stuff. See it? If you can find this stuff, get it. And I just add one of the little packets to it. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right here. This is good even with rice and stuff like that. Oh my god, it's so good. So it adds lots of flavor, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like as it's bubbling away. My husband's so excited. He just texted me. He's on his way home. Okay, guys, so this is everything. It's nice and steaming hot, so it's reduced down really uh, like a lot, like by half. There's beans on this side, and then white rice underneath, and then um, there's tortillas, flour tortillas. My husband likes with flour tortillas with butter. So that is my husband's big old bowl that he loves so much. And let me go back over to the stove so you guys can see it. So this is what it looks like. The pork and red sauce. It's nice and thick. Um, and then there's the minute rice that I make. And uh, the pinto beans that I make that are from the can. So that is pork and red sauce.